our senses, our sensory system is our nervous system, right? The information comes in and we're assessing not just from the external environment, not just from our eyes and our ears and our nose and our mouth and our skin, embrace. It also is the sense of our self. It's our communication, it's our connection with others, it's connection with the world, with our environment around us and within us. And if there's something sharp, there's a pain, or if there's symptoms that are interfering with how we perceive the world or process, right? Because a pain or a, an exhaustion or not knowing what's happening in our body can be quite consuming, right? It can create a lot of fear. It can create a little bit of a mm, isolation in our own body. And because the brain is an end organ, it's hard to think our way out of pain. We can assess, we can track, we can analyze possibilities of why there is the pain or how to fix it, or the symptoms, how to shift them, or where they're coming from. But how we shift the experience of the body is often through the body. And so if that sounds interesting to you, I'd really like to mm, invite you to come join me next week for a four-day body healing experience where we get to really talk about the relationship of pain and symptom and healing from the body, from the space of changing the input or slowing down um, the, the emotional response, getting to a place of balance internally to affect the healing from the inside out and bringing in the mind to help us let it land and create lasting healing. So I'd love to see you there. I'll put a link below. 